First of all, thank you for having me on this uh, talk. I was really looking forward to discuss more about the uh, abstracts that I had worked on. And I must say uh, that uh, uh, though I was not able to participate at EHA, I saw the meetings online and including uh, some of the uh, some of the talks that you guys had posted on Twitter as well, which were wonderful. So coming to the abstract on inotizumab uh, for MRD clearance in B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, I had worked on this abstract with Dr. Short and Dr. Jabur, who, who are kind of the principal investigators for this study. So this is a, a phase two study in which we looked at inotizumab in patients who are in remission for their B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, but they were MRD positive. And these were both pH negative as well as pH positive groups of patients. So the inotizumab was given in cycle one at 0.6 milligram uh, on days one and eight, uh, 0.6 milligram per meter square on cycles two to six at 0.3 milligrams per meter square on days uh, one and eight. So uh, in, in, in the present abstract, we reported on 20 patients with median follow-up of 15 months, and we saw a promising overall response rate of 60%. I must tell you that these are patients who were both pH negative as well as pH positive. So we did see responses in the pH negative patients as flow cytometry MRD negativity. And in the pH positive responders, it was both flow cytometry negativity as well as a molecular remission in the form of undetectable BCR abl PCR transcripts. There were few additional patients in the pH positive group who attained major molecular uh, uh, response as well, though they did not fulfill the study primary endpoint, but they attend major molecular response. And together with anotizumab in the pH positive group, uh, patients could continue uh, uh, physician's choice of a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. So uh, that's what is the crux of this abstract. 